Well, hello, welcome back to the channel. It's Salisa coming to you from Beautifully Me and you, de Bella Mente y tú y yo. And you guys, we need to do a budget. <laughs> Actually, a budget and cash stuff for week one and two of August. And if that sounds like something you'd like to see, me putting money in cash envelopes, coin jars, sinking funds, and maybe even some savings challenges, then let's get right into the budget of it all first. Alright you guys, before we get started, I do want to show you some happy mail that I received. I won a giveaway. The giveaway I won from Budget with Sin and she gave me so many goodies. Hold on, let me get them all out. Look, look at all this. Look at all this that she gave me, you guys. Even a card. <laughs> so I won her giveaway budget with sin. I'll put her channel up here on the screen. You guys should go check her out. Um, she had a giveaway. I watched one of her videos and commented. I never comment on giveaway videos. I'm always like, congratulations to whoever wins. You know, I'm not going to enter, but I'm here to support this time for whatever reason. I don't know what was happening. I decided to go ahead and comment. And of course I won. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, God be favoring me. Okay, anyway, so she gave me a card that says congratulations. She sent this at the beginning of August, and you guys, I'm so slow to go to my post office box. Um, so yeah, sometimes I get stuff out of there. Sometimes it sits in there for a couple of months. I'm just going to be honest with you. Anyway, um, I don't advertise it here on my page because of that, because I know I don't always go over there. So <laughs> some people will randomly send me something once in a blue moon because they get it from a package that I sent to them. But um, yeah. For her, I ended up giving it to her so she could send me the gift. And so I knew it was coming and I had to go inside and get it. Let's talk about what's inside. First of all, she sent me a thank you card. Let me read it off camera, but it says, you deserve big thanks. Isn't it so cute? Ah, okay, we'll read it. She said, Con Salisa, congrats on winning the giveaway. Thank you so much for your kind words of en and encouragement. I remember you showed love and support when I was just starting and it meant the world to me. I hope you enjoy these little gifts. Budget with sin because a little niceness goes a long way. So sweet. You guys, honestly, there are so many budgeting channels and I try to like peep in and at least watch some here and there, especially while I'm doing my Etsy work, but I don't always have the chance to comment. So just know sometimes I'm watching and I don't even comment on your videos. I'm known for that, okay? All right, <laughs> anyway, let's go through what she got me. She sent me a eat, sleep, nap, repeat. Eat, sleep, nap, repeat. These are all the things I love. It's like she knows me. I love to eat. I love to sleep. I love to nap. And then we'll just start all over again. Anyway, it's just a line notebook. Um, so I can use that. So thank you so much for that, Sin. She bought me some auto correction tape, like corrector tape. So that's cool. And then this is her giveaway envelope. Isn't it so cute? She decorated herself. So I'm going to be using this one for giving instead of the one that I have. Or you know what? I might use this one giving for YouTube videos. And then the other one I'll use just regular giving for people. Um, and inside this envelope, I had one $25. All the rest of this is just bonus. So there's the $25. She still sent that. I can't believe it. As well as, look it. Oh, it's a little llama. Hey guys, is it a llama or an alpaca? <laughs> Here's another one. So cute stickers. Another one. Oh my gosh. What am I going to use these on? Here's another one. I'm gonna have to use them on um, some post on my Instagram or something. And then here's another one, they're so cute. Thank you so much, Sin. So much thought put into this stuff. You guys, don't hate me because I'm not that thoughtful. Okay, and then she, <laughs> she sent me um, three $100 bill place slips. So, you know, we always can reuse those. And then she also sent me a roll with the dice savings challenge game. And I don't have any dice, but y'all know I will be asking Siri to roll a dice for me and um, she can make it happen. So I will eventually get around to doing this one. Probably when I get finished with Jessica's from Budgeting to Freedom's $10 challenge, I might start this one next. So cute though. Thank you so much. So we have the envelope I'm going to be using for YouTube. We'll be stuffing that one. Matter of fact, let's just go ahead and stuff it with this first $25 because this can go back as giveaway gifts for you guys. Boom. There it is. Okay, and then now we have some um, planning supplies. And I'm not really a big, big, huge planner, 
but I do like post-it notes and to-do notes and things like this are like all my jam. If you guys followed me on Instagram before, I used to write a little post-it note and stick it up on my mirror in my bathroom so I can remember something for the day. So I definitely will be using these. And this one, I'm not sure. If I don't think I'm gonna use it, then I'll probably just include it in a giveaway or send it to someone else that I think can use it. So thank you so much, Sin, for all the items that you sent over. Girl, I'm gonna be trying to get the best use out of all of these. And yeah, just thank you. Huge shout out. You guys go check out Sin's channel, okay? All right, let me get all this stuff out the way. All right, so now it's time to do the budgeting. We're gonna be using the Easy Cash Budget Weekly Planner for budgeting with sinking funds and cash envelopes. This planner you can find down in my Amazon storefront down below. I did create this planner as well as about seven other planners. They're all listed in a planner comparison video that I'll link up here. So if you don't know if you need a weekly budget, a bi-weekly budget, the monthly one, depending on your pay period style, you can check out that video and then head over to Amazon and purchase which one best suits your needs after you see the comparison video, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and get into the business, you guys. And as you may know, the budget's already kind of tight. And on top of that, I was supposed to add stream. So I'm going to do that now, even though I don't know where I'm going to pull it from. But my stream bill is $122. And so I forgot to add that from, oh no, $112, sorry. $112. Wait, hold on. I got my autocorrect and tape. Okay, we don't need to be doing crazy stuff no more. We could just white stuff out. Look at there. Thanks, Sin. <laughs> okay, $112. And I need to incorporate that somewhere in. So I'm just going to put a question mark right here so I can remember that I need to incorporate that in somewhere. And I might just go ahead and incorporate it into this video or the very next budgeting just to get it out of the way. All right, so we have our monthly budget laid out here. We're going to be doing week one and two since today is Friday and it's time for me to take another payment. And I didn't even take the one from the first time yet. You guys, it was my son's birthday. I took a little bit of money out of the birthday fund and a little bit of money out of extra grocery money to go ahead and get some groceries. I had some stuff here for us, but I wanted to throw him like a little party. I didn't think I did, but mainly I wanted the family to all be able to get together and tell him happy birthday as well. So, and it's just an excuse for us to all gather, right? So um, I threw a party and we made some birria queso tacos and rice and beans, chips, salsa, guac, soda, cake, ice cream. Yeah, all the whole fixings for the fam and I paid for it all. So a little bit of came out of here, a little bit of came out of there, but everybody seemed to enjoy themselves and that was the point of it all. All right, so for this week, we're gonna be putting in 1800 because it'll be the budgeting from week one and week two. Let me go ahead and write that down. And even though 1800 seems like a lot, I have a lot to do with this. Um, and if you guys are wondering, I'm using the Sharpie SGL 0.7 pen. This one's in white, so I'm using that today. All right, so now we need to figure out what bills need to be paid. I know for sure I need to pay at and I'm going to pay that one since that's a large one and get it off the table. I still don't have my correct Georgia Power bill just yet. I am going to also pay Xfinity and line of credit and one half of the lawn care, okay? Okay. So let's write all that down. That's quite a bit, but we got to get it done. Let me write that down. And I kind of like, but I like it to have the bills paid first. And then I can get to everything else secondary. So let me try to cut out as much as I can so I don't feel overwhelmed at the end of the month. Lawn care, it'll be $40 because I'm only paying half. Uh, line of credit is going to be $130 and Xfinity $202. And lawn kit, no wait, LOC 130. I'm gonna have to use that white out more than I know, huh? <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and add up these numbers just to see where we're at so far. 400 plus 40, 202 plus 130. All right, that's $772. That doesn't even seem like a lot, but not when I'm thinking I'm gonna be taking 1800 minus 772. Then I'll have one thousand twenty eight dollars but you guys i haven't put anything for food and yeah i might put a little bit less for food and gas because i told you i have my mom's car and it's really not needing that much gas so we'll just see how that goes for groceries right now um i'm supposed to be putting half of these numbers because they're four weeks in the month and i'm budgeting for two of them so all half of this should be going in which will be 520 dollars. so let me go ahead and carry that over 
groceries will be 320. Gas will be 100. What else? Grocery sinking. will be 30. So Lisa, I'm gonna have to take the full 40 because I need to go get my nails done. So I'm gonna take the full amount of mine and fun, I'll take 50. And so let's see how much that will be in cash envelopes. 320, 130, 40, 50. Okay, wait, hold on. 300, 130, 40, and 50. All right, that's $520. That should have been more than that. Did I mess something up? That should have been more than that. Hold on, let me see. 320, 100, 30, 40, 50. Yeah, 540. Okay, that sounds better because I'm like... I know exactly half of those numbers and I took all of mine. So when we take the 1,028 minus $540, that equals $488 left. Of that, I do wanna do giving and that will be 180. I'm thinking I might split up the giving like maybe 30% for YouTube, 70% for others. So 488 minus 180, that'll be $308 left for me to budget for sinking funds. So let's go ahead and see what we can satisfy with that. Let's see, 308 you say? All right, I wanna try to satisfy some whole categories and then I will come back to satisfying some of the other categories later. So I think I'm gonna try to cash stuff a lot of the smaller ones or at least um, as much as I can, okay? So I'm gonna do medical gingy birthday. Let's start with that. Okay, let me just leave it here. Hold this like this. So we got medical 50, Gingy 20, birthdays 20. Was birthdays 20? Yeah, birthdays 20. Uh huh. Um, travel, I'm gonna do 50. That's already 140. We have 308 to work with. So I'm gonna do the one month. I'm gonna try to just do 20. Oh no, I'm supposed to do 18. But I might pull 20 out of the bank because I don't like all that odd amount. Life change, I mean, life happens, 50. So that's 51, 150. 70, 90, 210 so far. And let's go ahead and satisfy beauty and that'll be another 100 and that should be it. All right, so let's add all this up. 50, 20, 20, 50, 18, 50 and 100. Right, that's $308, which leaves when you take 488 which is the balance down here, minus 308. You come up with 180, which is what we're given to giving. So that'll be a zero-based budget. So let me just write all this down right here. It's gonna be 1,800 minus cash envelopes is 540. Um, sinking funds is going to be 308. Savings is gonna be 180. And then bills is gonna be 772, and that will be zero, but let me just make sure that's correct. 1800 minus 540 minus 308 minus 180 minus 772. Hey, y'all, we didn't did it. Okay, I'm dragging my feet, but I got it done, okay? And mainly I had to get it done because I need some gas and some groceries. So let's go ahead and do the cash stuffing tracker so I can head to the bank and get the appropriate bills. I'm gonna start with giving here at the top, so I won't forget it because you guys already know what I be doing. <laughs> it's gonna be 150, 70, 80, or a total of 180. I'm gonna do that all the way down and I'll speed this part up.
supposed to be the one you can trust I feel so useless cause I let you down I hope there's some way I can make it alright Cause I know that you deserve much more than this If you give me one more chance I swear I'll try my best to always be there Okay, so I have it all written out, so we're just gonna add all the way down and make sure it adds up. I did mark a $20 bill for one month ahead, so um, for that one, it might be $2 more than what I say I'm supposed to pull out, but so far, what we should be pulling out is $1,028. I do leave the money for my bills in the account, and I go ahead and pay those electronically, but we should be pulling out $1,028, which will be the money for the cash envelopes, the sinking funds, as well as giving. And since I added an extra $2, it will be 1,030. So that is the number that we're shooting for. So let's go ahead and cross those fingers and say a prayer right now. Okay. <laughs> if you guys saw, I was kind of trying to make sure I had an even amount of 50s because I don't want to count all that weird money when it comes back. So there's one, two, three, four, one hundreds for $400. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight fifties for 400. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten for two hundred. We're up to a thousand, and then ten, twenty, thirty. Three for thirty. And that is a thousand thirty. I could do that in my head. Four, eight, nine, ten, ten, thirty. And boom. Y'all, this is going smoother than expected. I don't know about you, but this is going smoother than expected. So if you were here for my last video, then you knew my little key holder was acting up and it was because I had all of this as well as a bunch of cash for school shopping in my little binder or my little key holder. And so the zipper busted open and I had all these coins. Okay, so when I took all the coins out as well as took all the bills out, then it decided to zip and it hasn't been busting open as long as it doesn't have a lot in it. And hopefully it will be able to last until my new one comes in from Amazon or I might go to the A7 little binder that I had. Okay, so one of those two will happen, but for day, for today, these are all extra dollars and fives that I can put towards some kind of savings challenge or something extra as needed. I'm gonna put them to the side, head to the bank, get all this cash, and then we'll get started on the cash stuffing. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, I made it back from the bank. I went ahead and got the $1,030, so let me count that up first. Let's see, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 55, 56, 57, 58, 20, 40, 60, 89, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1,000, 10, 20, 30. Yeah, I did that right. Did you see how even them 50s were and not giving me no headaches? So that's $1,030. Let me go ahead and set it up and then we'll get started with the cash stuffing. All right, I have the calculator here just in case. Um... Let's start with, and then these are all, and then this is all of the savings challenge money. So I'm just gonna sit this up here. We'll work with that when we can, okay? But first, let's go ahead and turn to the page. All right, first I'm gonna go ahead and lay out the tracker and we're gonna work on the coins first. Y'all haven't seen Phineas and Fiona in a minute, but it's time, cause y'all, all them little coins is what helped bust my little key holder open. So hold on, let me get the coins. I took them out the car and then put them in this, this little tray. There's Fiona. And there's Phineas. So if you haven't been here before, these are my little piggy banks, literally. Um, <laughs> I put all of the silver coins in this one and I named her Fiona and all of the little pennies go inside Phineas and this is him. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, stuff these really quick and I'll speed that up. All right, so that's little Phineas. And then Fiona, um, someone that follows me on Instagram, her name is Robin. Hey Robin, um, she's so sweet. She found, um, one of these type pigs on Amazon and I listed it in my storefront. Also a three pack of these little minis. Another subscriber, I can't remember who it was. Oh man. But anyway, told me about um, the three pack of little mini ones. 
So, but they're not pink. They're like purple, green, and blue. I listed those in the storefront as well. So you can click down below on Amazon storefront if you're interested in some of these piggy banks. Um, if you guys notice, I didn't have a lot of quarters. My daughter be stealing my quarters trying to get to the vending machine at school. Ain't nobody got time for that, huh, Phineas and Fiona? Ain't nobody got time for that. She trying to steal all my little dollars, y'all. Okay, well, we're all done with the pigs. All of the coins have been put away securely, so let's move on to the cash stuffing. All right, so I have this little A7 binder, and I think I'm going to put the bills that I need for my cash envelopes in here. This little um, A7 binder I bought on Amazon, and I use it as a part of a video that I'll link up above here. Like if you're just beginning your cash stuffing journey, some things you can purchase on Amazon that are super affordable, and this is one of them. So it came with um, these little mini envelopes inside, and then I think I bought separately these little trackers that have labels. Um, so I'm going to be putting the money in here. For groceries, I guess I'll use, the only thing is some of these don't have the same labels of what I would say, but that's okay. We'll make it work. Dining out. We need not be dining out, so I'm not going to put nothing in that one. Transportation is going to be gas. Shopping will be groceries. Personal will be me. And entertainment will be fun with the kids, okay? Oh, there is a grocery one. Sorry, grocery. So we don't need the shopping one. I'm going to leave these to the back just in case I decide to change my mind and stuff these. These are some great ideas, though. Dining out, shopping, miscellaneous, income. So if you want to go to the bank and put your money in here, I think mine's too small. Savings and then deposit. Um, so, yeah. It's a cute little envelope system. Hold on. Let me just get all these envelopes back in here. And we're going to cash stuff these other four that I have listed on my planner. So we'll do all of these. On the back of them, they do have little trackers. I'm not going to keep track of every little dollar that I spend. I'm just not that detailed. I'm sorry, you guys. I, the way my life is set up, it just ain't that detailed. Okay, <laughs> for entertainment, which is fun, we're supposed to put $50, and I said two 20s and a 10. And that's just because I didn't want to get an odd 50. So there's 20, 40, 50 <laughs> for entertainment. I think these could just be folded in half. So let's just hope that all works out. Um, and then I'll just have to carry this little binder somewhere. You know, I don't carry a purse, so that's where it starts to get a little hairy. Um, but there's that. And then next is going to be personal, which is me, $40. This one I can just pull out when I'm going to go to the nail shop. Just take the cash out of it, but it'll already be designated in its proper place. You know, and I might have to do that in general. Just take some of the cash out of these little A7 wallets and put it inside my little key holder and carry it with me when I know I'm going to the grocery store, let's say, you know? So there's personal. Next is going to be groceries, and that'll be 320 I got two 100s, two 50s, and a 20. Y'all, we about to grub, ain't we? One, two, 53, 320. Maybe not. I don't know. I got those pot rolls for the Bidia queso tacos that I made. And I got enough because there was about maybe 12 people that came in my family. And, oops, sorry, about 12 people came in my family. And so I had to get enough for all of us, which ended up being about maybe five pounds of pot roast, chuck roast. And it was like $60. So, yeah, that was an expensive little tacos he asked for. But, you know, it's just son's birthday. He asked for his dinner of his choice. He said either bidia queso tacos or macaroni and cheese. I'm like, what are we going to have with macaroni and cheese? I got to make a whole nother something to go with the macaroni and cheese he loves. So the tacos was an easy fix. All right, next is transportation, which we're going to use for gas. And that's just going to have two 50s. And I don't know if you guys remember, but one time they said they couldn't break a 50 or 100 inside the gas station. I really honestly haven't went back to that gas station ever since. I'm like, you guys are playing. This is cash. Remember, cash. I know you guys like cards, um, but this is cash. And they give a discount. Oh, oh wait, hold on. The craziest part is they give a discount when you use cash, but then tell you they don't have change for large bills. What you talking about? What you talking about, Willis? Okay, let me put my stuff in. <laughs> let me put my stuff in here. Um, okay, y'all, wait, hold on. I might be a little A7 binder chick after all. We don't even know. We're going to see how this works out. You guys will find out next week when I do my next cash stuff and if I go to this or use my little key holder. Anyway, this one's linked down below in my Amazon storefront as well, this whole little setup. So yeah, let's move on to the sinking funds. 
All right, so for today, we're not doing anything. I'm gonna have to really pay attention to my little tracker, okay? Because I'll be getting off track. First thing we're gonna do, <laughs> wait a minute, let me move this out the way. All right, first things first, we're not doing anything for myself, Jace, or Janae. Myself, Jace, or Janae, right. We're not putting anything into car maintenance or household this time. Birthdays is the first one up. And it's going to get $20. I don't have another birthday until my oldest son's birthday, which is not until the middle of January. So I have some time. Um, let me get this going because he likes to do fun things as well. So there's one fifty-two, two fifty, dollars So there's $270 for birthdays. And um, I did take some out for Jace's birthday out of this folder earlier, okay? Medical is up next. I don't have anything for that. Clothing, nothing. Travel is up. Getting something. Hold on. Travel should have 2,050. There's one, 52,000 in the bank, and then 20, 40, 45, 50. That's right. And travel's gonna be getting a $50 bill. So that'll be 2,100, that's 1,550, 1,000, let me start over. So that's 1,015, 2,000, 250, 70, 90, 95, 100. So 2,100 dollars. So let me add 50 to this and we'll do 2,100. Okay, let's see. Oh, Gingy, Gingy's up next. Gingy the cat that wants to eat all the treats all day. I did spend some on some treats for her and she has 150, 200, 210, 15, 20. So she has 220 right now and she's supposed to get another $20 bill. So that'll be 240. That's 152, 20, 30, 35, 40. 240 for Miss Ginge. Sometimes I call her Ginge <laughs> for short. Why are we always creating shortcut names for people? I don't know, but she's not even a person. She's a cat and I still do it. We don't even know. Beauty's getting some. Yeah, Beauty's getting $100. I did spend money on getting my daughter's hair braided for school, which was $165. And so she wanted, did I tell you guys she wanted thigh, thigh length braids and they were going to add an extra $60? They would have been like $240 altogether. Get out of here, girl. Okay, so she's getting $100, so that'll be $400. Luckily, the lady didn't have a time space, didn't have a time slot, because she was like, you know, you can pay it. It's only $60 more, and I was thinking, mm, okay, go ahead, but then the lady didn't have a time slot for that long of braids. Like, they only have a certain amount of time allotted on each time slot. She didn't have one for thigh length. See, God be looking out for me. That's one, two, three, four hundred dollars four hundred dollars and she loves the one she has and they go just about to her waist my goodness how long do you have do you have to be share out in these streets i'm saying like our hair don't grow that long stop it um groceries i'm not putting it oh yes i am see cracking jokes and forgot about groceries okay groceries has 300 because i took 130 out so groceries is going to get 30 dollars today and that will be 330 and that's supposed to be a 20 and a 10 there's one, two, three, three, twenty, three, thirty. But that's like all the rage with these kids these days. They want the longest braids possible. I don't know if you guys have kids that get braids, but it's like getting a bit ridiculous. Like, stop. Stop it. It's just a lot. Date night's not getting anything. Life happens is, and for life happens, I'm gonna be using a random scratch off. I haven't used the rainbow side yet. Should I do that one? Let's do this side. I'm supposed to be putting fifty dollars. Oh, where is it at now? Two twenty-five. One fifty. 20, 40, 60, 82. Oh, she ain't updated something because it say 225 and I have way more than 225 right here. Hold on. I was getting lazy with the 50. Let's count again. 1, 20, 40, 60, 82. 220, 40, 60, 310, 315. So it has 315. So I must have put 90 in last time and didn't update it. So let me do that. And that makes 315. Okay, now, now that we know where we're coming from, we know where we're going. Um, life happens was supposed to get $50. Okay. We just gonna hope this work out. Hold on. Okay. Most of the ones on this card are pretty reasonable. There's not any super duper large amounts. The total for this whole card side, this one's 150 side. This one's 175. So they're not outlandish, which is the beauty of this little random card. Uh, let's try this one next. Okay, now we have 25. Should I stop or should I keep going? 
Doink, 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 doink. What is the choice of the day, folks? What are y'all thinking? Send your vibes my way. Okay, you're thinking scratch one more. Okay, let's do one more. Okay, we're gonna stop. We're, we're just gonna stop on that one because I don't know. I feel like if I do anything else, I'm pushing it. All right, so that's, no, no, no. You know what? I lie. I'm a risk taker. Let's try one more. Let's try this one. Ah! <laughs> Why does gang gotta be playing with me? Every time I take a risk, then I'm out there bad. Kylie! Kylie! Okay, so we got 30, 65, 70. Okay, I was gonna put 50, and I don't think I have 20 over here. Let me see, 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Do I want to put 20 of this over in this? Nah, she don't want to. Wait, do I? Nah, I put 10. And I'm going to have to do an IOU for 10. So hold on, let me get them post-it notes from Sin. Oh, you know what? Instantly, she remembers that she had won $25. And she got $25 in here she could be using. Okay, I'm going to use 20. I'll put the five over there for this challenges and I'll figure out how to stuff this giving for you guys. But for right now, I'm going to use this 20 that Sin, Budget with Sin, gave me. Hey, 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 she coming up. And then I'm going to put a $50 bill that I already was planning. So there's the 70. Some kind of way, y'all. You know what? I feel like I take too many risks and some kind of way, though, it be balancing out. Do you hear me, though? Do you hear me though? It balances some kind of way. Oh wait, I put 70. So that'll be 385 is what I should have. All right, 152, 20, 40, 60, 83. 3, 20, 40, 60, 85. Hey! If you guys are interested in these scratch off um, cards, they're double-sided, random scratch and saves. They're listed down below in my Etsy storefront. Get you one. All right, let's see. Let me move this out the way for right now. I forgot I had cash in there. Yeah, we're going to use that. Because life do be happening. Life happens. Okay, so that's that. <laughs> Homeowners Association, we're not putting anything in. One month ahead, we are going to be putting in $20. Veinte dólares. Wait, let me say it again. Veinte dólares. Dolores. Dolores. Okay. There's, I should have 1,000, 1, 2, 3, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 400. Yeah, 1,400. And then we're going to add in $20. Let's just go and do that. That's 1,000, 1, 2, 3, 20, 40, 60, 80, 94, 4, 10, 15, 20. So 14, 20 for one month ahead. And you guys, I might have to bring back the one month ahead binder, seriously. I had to use a lot of that money to rent that car until my mom's car became available. I had took it out of the binder, took it to the bank, and then slowly but surely start transferring money in order to handle that. So yeah, I might bring back the one month ahead binder and start stuffing that with some extra cash. But look, even though Sin's little folder don't have nothing in it, we gonna put it in here and we about to stuff it today because I have some money, $180 that needs to go to giving. Hold on, let me get this in here first and foremost. Come on. All right, so this one's going to be YouTube giving, and then this one's going to be giving for the masses, okay? So let's first do YouTube giving. It's supposed to have 180 for giving total. Let's see, 180 times 0.3. That's 55, $55. I'll put $50 total for today into YouTube. And maybe I'll start breaking it out like that. So $50 will be going in here. Okay. And then for regular giving, I will put $130. And that's $120, $30. And why is there an extra $50 on the table? What did I forget? Someone help me. Medical? I don't think. Did I do medical? Show enough, she show did not. Okay, $50 was supposed to go to medical. <laughs> medical should have one, two, three, 350, 70, 90, 95, four, and now it has 450. Okay, now we got it all together. One, two, three, 350, four, 20, 40, 45, 50, 450 for medical. And that is everything for the sinking funds. 
Let's see how much we can do in some savings challenges. Hold on one second. Order. All right, let's see what we got. 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. I have, what, I, what I know is I have $33, 15 and fives, and that leaves $18 and ones. So all these ones will be going in the penny challenge jar. I'm not going to be dealing with that unless I absolutely have to. Let's first see what we could do with this $15. I have my savings challenge binder. I think I'm going to try a scratch and save first. And then I'll move on and put something in Jessica's $10 challenge. So I have cards that have $100 on one side, $250 on the other, and then $500 on one side and $300 on the other, $350 on the other. I'm going to be doing the $100 side just because I need a small number. So it's already kind of risky. You see what I'm saying? I'm already chancing it. So let's see what we're going to get. How about here? Moni's in the middle. Where's she at? In the middle. Let's try in the middle. $9. Love it. I think I'm going to stop there. And because I have a dollar, I'm going to stick that in and pull $10 out. And boom. Just like that. We added nine dollars to the scratch and save. I haven't been keeping track, but I'll add it. I'm gonna count it up. There's 152, 50, 70, 90, 310, 330, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 56, 57, 58. 358 dollars. I will take it. All right, so that's the scratch and save. Now we need to figure out, let's see, for Jessica's challenge, I wanna put something in that too. Let's go on back here. The marker, the Visa V's is making marks on my envelope. Look at there. Look at that. Okay, I don't like that. Maybe I didn't let it dry enough last time. I don't know, but I have one more $10 for this row, so I'm gonna do that one and we'll leave it out to dry. I'm gonna color them in and leave it out to dry. Mm -hmm. Come on, act pretty okay do right but we did get one whole column done and i'm gonna put ten dollars in this envelope that's five and i'm gonna be forced to use these ones one two three four five. Oh, i need this one yeah okay so now we should have 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80. Yeah, that's correct. All right, so we have $80 in the Budget to Freedom $10 challenge. I'm going to leave this sitting out so it can dry before I close it up. Last but not least, I have all these ones. So how much is this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And one of them is about tour. 14. Okay, so 14 ones. I'm going to put that in the penny challenge. All right, so I got my little markers here. These are the Bible highlighters. They're listed down below. They don't bleed through pages, and they're really like muted, pretty colors. Um, but I have 14, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yeah, 14 dollars to go inside of the penny challenge. So let's see what we're going to do. Should I just take out a whole row? Let me see if I could take out a row. Point twenty-eight. Somebody said every time they see me just throw extra dollars in, they're like, color the 28 cents. In the comment section, I was laughing because I always skip over it. But maybe I can get this whole row done. Ah! I'm like a dollar and something short. Wait. Minus a dollar twenty-six. Okay, we're gonna do all of them except for the dollar twenty-six. You gotta think on your feet, folks. You gotta think on your feet. All right, so let me color these really quick. Let's drink up your death look like big fun. Come on, let's get it on like that on fin gay song. I'm something you love it. Come on, give me something. I know that you want it. Come on, give me something. The night is young and so okay y'all i like
like to see progress, even when it's in the little ones. I'm supposed to be working down here. But for $14, the most I could have did was the $14 penny. Uh, I just don't feel like it. I thought maybe a lot of little ones will bring me joy today. Hold on, let me get the penny challenge jar. All right, here's the penny challenge jar. If you haven't here, been here before, I actually did this whole challenge once before. And I put all the money in and counted it up. And then I started it over. Since it's all these ones, I'm going to stick it down into the penny challenge. Trying to get it done by the end of the year. And that's all the money we have in there so far. All right, hopefully this is dry. Let's stick this in there. Maybe I should stick it behind the money. All right, so that's all the savings challenges that we'll be doing for today. And honestly, won't he do it? Because I didn't even have anything budgeted for savings challenges, but by me just strictly saving the ones and fives, I had some extra. And then the nice, beautiful $25 giveaway from Budget with Sin also helped me, okay? Because y'all saw I was in a pickle with that random scratch off, but it ended up working out. Uh, <laughs> okay, so that's going to be everything for this budget and cash stuff for week one and two of August. I will be bringing some more videos very shortly. So make sure you subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you'll get a notification the next time I post. As well, hit the thumbs up and like this video because it helps it to be suggested to others that might need this information. That's how the algorithm works. And then share the video if you know someone who actually needs this content. And if you're a real one, you made it all the way to the end of this video. Comment this one single emoji right here. And that way I know you made it. Y'all, I was so busy this week with kids, school, um, the 25% off sale on my Etsy store. Thank you so much to anyone who purchased. And I just had so much going on. I finally got back to everybody's comments from my last video, but trust me, I'll be on top of it this time. And yeah, that's everything. I will talk to you guys very shortly. Thank you so much for being here today. Take care.